What's going on everybody and welcome to another video. So we need to take a look at a shadow update. Uh, I ran into this all kind of quickly a few days ago. Uh, I wanted to test uh, Valorant on shadow. Uh, I did not realize uh, in beta and now you can't run uh, Valorant on shadow because of Vanguard. So I had to do a lot of digging and kind of learn quickly what was going on there. And we will talk about uh, why you can't run Valorant on Shadow, why I can't test it on Shadow. A few of you were asking me if I would do that. Um, it's not a possibility because you can't run it on Shadow. Um, Shadow's asking for this support for, uh, for support for the game uh, from the developer, but who knows if this will happen and let's kind of get into why. And there are also a couple of other uh, interesting updates on Shadow from the email I got. Um, coincidentally, the day I was also trying to install Valorant on Shadow. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over and take a look at the email I got first. So the activations update is uh, a lot of you always have a lot of questions about your activation time and your activation date so they've created a thread on the new forum where you can get the latest updates on activation times um, and it will update this every week so this should start giving people more of an idea about when they can expect their shadow so that should be interesting go check that out on our forum if uh if you if you're about to sign up or if you already have and you might be able to get some more information on activation times so the other thing we need to take a look at here is uh, Valorant. We need your help. So the day that I was trying to mess with Valorant on Shadow because I hadn't looked in, I hadn't looked it up and seen that you couldn't play it there. Um, I also had gotten this email because I went to email support and ran into this. Valorant is unique in many ways. One of those ways is their revolutionary Vanguard anti-cheat system. And I really do not like uh, Vanguard. And we'll talk more about that here in just a minute. Unfortunately... This system detects and blocks all virtual machines to, to stop cheaters, and this includes Shadow. They have hashtag free Valorant Shadow. We're working hard to get Riot Games to allow Shadow users to play Valorant, and we need your help. Hashtag Team Shadow. Our wonderful community has started an initiative to get Valorant on Shadow using hashtag free Valorant Shadow. So you can go over there and check that out if you want to be part of that. And it says, so how can you help? Get online and at Riot Games via Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, any platform. Really use hashtag free Valorant Shadow. Let Riot Games know that Shadow can easily solve this issue. Our voices are stronger together. So they want to get the game working on Shadow. It's a popular game right now. I know a lot of people may rather run this on Shadow than their local PC because Vanguard, I just really don't like how it runs. On the PC and you may not want to run it on your local PC especially if it's your main that you use for a lot of stuff because they're gonna know pretty much everything that you're up to so I don't know if this will ever come to shadow um, I'm guessing it probably will eventually because of Vanguard's ability to pretty much know everything you're doing all the time and they may want to be able to do that on shadow as well not just have people play the game but it's it's really hard to tell uh, if it will or not. So the other interesting piece of news here is keyboard and mouse support for iOS is uh, is in beta. Our newest iOS beta will now support your keyboard and mouse natively. Uh, you can check it out um, there. It says we are always improving our iOS features and functionality to work better for you. Feel free to leave feedback and suggestions on the forum. As always, any updates will be communicated as soon as they are available. So some of you have asked on the channel about keyboard and mouse support for um, iPad and iPhone, and they are that's in beta, and they've got it working. So um, that should be coming for the main app pretty quickly, especially if they're getting some feedback from everybody on that. So about valorant so you can't do that on shadow at all now this is a post from a couple of months ago but this is a very relative post with a decent comment here so i wanted to show this um this was during the beta when there was also a lot of discussion about vanguard running on shadow i wasn't part of the beta so i never ran into any of this stuff this is all very recent for me and i don't know how much you guys uh, know about it let me know uh, down below if this is something that you've already dealt with uh, but it says riots anti-cheat in the uh, at the moment running beta is a kernel driver that runs on ring zero um, we'll talk about that more in a minute ring zero is the lowest level the deeper into the system zero is the deepest something uh, can run in running in this level of uh, permission means that um, the given driver has full administrative access to the os uh, in the second uh, you turn your computer on so basically immediately and i noticed this when i had it on the ryzen 4500u when i tested valorant for the laptop 
Once I was done that test, I removed Valor and I removed Vanguard immediately. I even had to go through and dig a little deeper and get everything out of there. But um, uh, and so as soon as you turn it on and it's fired up, the it gets the highest privileges available. It can monitor the whole boot process, check everything like drivers' devices which are getting loaded, and can run code without any input or knowledge from the user. It doesn't even matter if you are logged into the game or not. This thing is running 24-7 as long as your computer is on, and that is true. Now, you can go into Task Manager uh, and some other places and wipe it out for that session, not have it running, but it already ran while you were booting and getting logged in and everything else. It's just always going to happen, and you can't turn that off no matter how hard you try. At least I was unable to. It's just going to boot up. Um, it's very, very deep into the system. So uh, they say this is a big no-no. A company like Riot Games, which are 100% owned by Tencent, which is a company based in China, uh, also have Call of Duty Mobile, has the theoretical access to your PC data and a chance to run code without anyone knowing it. Um, not this is why I don't like Vanguard. And I, I figured this out the day I had installed um, Valorant on the laptop and decided never to install it on my main RTX 2060 build. I was going to test it on here and on Shadow uh, and any, any of my other builds, but I decided to pull it from the list. I'm not going to be testing that game anymore as long as Vanguard runs the way that it does. Uh, I know some people will say, I don't care, nothing interesting on my PC, but that is not the point. And no, it is not. You cannot allow a company to have access on this level at user PCs. Um, so you have to use this. It says installing Valorant at the moment is like installing malware with a nice looking GUI and by allowing um, it to make uh, to target yourself for access, unwanted access to your system. Now... This is a good comment right here that also explains it well. Just in case people didn't know, Ring Zero access is higher than the access level you have as the user or even admin of the machine has by default. There is almost nothing uh, you can do to the, to the machine with access. Nothing. There is almost nothing you can't do to a machine with access that deep. Either way, no freemium game is worth handing over the keys to my operating system to Tencent, even if they really, really promise not to use my machine for Bitcoin mining for the glory of the CCP. So obviously on this channel, I don't get into news and we don't get into too much. We don't get into too much crazy stuff uh, with China and Tencent and all that. That'll probably wind up being over on the other channel. But... Because this affects Shadow and because it affected what I could test for the channel and because you guys have been asking me to test Valorant on other systems, I wanted to let you know why you can't test it on Shadow and why I won't be testing it on any of my other systems until this gets changed, if ever. Um, the whole point here is they shouldn't have that kind of access. I mean, when I booted up the laptop after installing Vanguard, it was immediately apparent to me I lost system performance. I could tell that um, Vanguard was very busy, even though I hadn't even logged into the game yet or started playing. I was doing other things on the PC, and it was just having its way, doing whatever it wanted to. Um, this thing is just monitoring everything from the time you hit that power button, and I am not really okay with uh, an anti-cheat needing to do all that Maybe it works great for the cheating, but you can never really prove to me that it's not being used for other things. Um, so that is why I won't do it, and that's also why it's not working on Shadow. So for me, Valorant is a no. I do not like Vanguard. I've had more of you in the comments ask me what do I think of the Vanguard anti-cheat right now. Right now, I really don't. I don't like it. I don't like the system access, and I really don't like the resources it's using uh, from the PC or any of that. It's just... In my opinion, I'm, I don't like this anti-cheat uh, system that they have going on. So anyways, that's what's going on with that. That's why you can't play Valorant on Shadow. That's why I can't benchmark it on Shadow and why I won't be testing it on any other PCs. The only place you'll see it is in that Ryzen 4500U where I had installed it and done the test. And that was before I knew any of this. But I'm glad I did because installing it on that laptop showed me firsthand what Vanguard is doing, and I didn't really approve of it. So anyways, thanks a lot for coming to check out this video. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't, ring the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me your comment down below letting me know what you think. Thanks, and have a good one.